that's my biggest concern is that we disconnect the airbag and it just blows for whatever reason. I'm scared. I'm gonna be honest with you. Scared of what? The airbag going off. Same. Contents are extremely flammable. Do not probe with electrical devices or otherwise tamper with it in any way. Because it's a series four, it's always different. And I bet you this is probably like an earlier series because it's got that extra pin. And this, this shroud will be different. <laughs> it doesn't fit. So, it's completely, um, long time I see, uh, this video is a bit overdue, I just wanted to make sure the video had a happy ending, which it did, so as you could see from the start, there the, um, steering wheel that I bought didn't actually fit the navs, I still wanted to share this video with you guys, because there's a lot of information in there that could potentially help you guys when you're doing stuff to your navs. I think the main thing to take away from this video is that a series one and two steering wheel is different to a series three and four. Yeah, as you'll see in the video, things didn't go to plan with this one. So if you're ever in a situation where you need to replace your steering wheel, um, this video will probably help you guys out. Thanks for tuning in. Think about hitting that subscribe button. We're nearing 500 subscribers, which is pretty mental. So thanks guys. Maybe we just don't do an intro and we just start. All right, we're putting. A new steering wheel in is a 20 minute job that's going to take 400 years and hopefully the airbag doesn't blow up. That's my biggest concern is that we disconnect the airbag and it just blows for whatever reason. You know, it shouldn't. Right? I have no idea. I've never replaced a steering wheel on a Navarro before. <laughs> Same. <laughs> We're going to disconnect the battery and then show you how to do it. We don't even know if disconnecting the battery is going to make airbags not do stuff, but. You gotta put something in here to push on a little spring. And there's another one on the other side as well. And I think you push both of those at the same time and it shouldn't come out. So the video we watched is actually a third hole, but our steering wheel does not have a third hole. This was the hardest part of the entire process. So you'll see Alex and I trying to find the little pins inside uh, that you need to push on. Um, once you find them, it's pretty simple. You just push hard enough and then the airbag will pop out. And depending on your steering wheel, you will either have two holes like us or three holes. One eternity later. As we did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we pushed through those holes under the clip. This is the most scariest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Yeah, you should play with that yellow thing. I don't want to touch that. <laughs> really. Well, I'm going to have to actually because... Is there a plug there? Plugged in. Hmm. So we've got to unplug the battery. So I'm assuming this is the horn, yeah? I'm seeing away, Mark. I'm seeing away. Got a pair of pointy noses. I mean, surely it just comes off, right? Yeah, they're all in there to keep it nice and neat. I think we should probably have a bit of a read up on that one. In the airbag. Yeah. Contents are extremely flammable. Do not probe with electrical devices or otherwise tamper with it in any way. Lucky we're not tampering with it. This was the most daunting part of changing out the steering wheel. Um, as you can see, we're a little bit nervous because we've never uh, done anything with an airbag before. So it was pretty simple. We just got some pointy nose pliers and pulled out the horn and the airbag wiring. We have the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess technically it is. I mean, yeah, it's explosive material. Compressed gas. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Push the clips in, take the horn off, take the airbag off. Now we should probably disconnect the buttons. Let's 
scariest parts over. A couple of screws here. And then the nut. Holding that on. Yeah. do take the parts from one and put it onto the aftermarket one which shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, we're just chucking a screwdriver. I don't think that's gonna work. You reckon? No. Just take it out. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's the start and then it'll pop in. Yeah, thank you for the ice tray. <laughs> You work your way around and you pop the sides out. I'm oh, sorry. That's the tools. Yeah, tools. We just have to be very gentle. That's tools. Yep. Yes. Yeah, you're gonna have a nav one day. You're gonna have a Navara. Navara. Dad will love it if you get a Navara for your first car. Oh, 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 Navara. So there's four screws. With Theo's help, we remove the screws holding the controls onto the original wheel and transfer them to the new wheel. This is where we realized it wasn't going to work. Right, so it's about 20 minutes later. And if you were here, you'd be able to feel a distinct feeling of defeat in the air. Because It doesn't fit, so it's completely um, different. So what I mean, what I think has happened, or is the issue, is for whatever reason, whenever you try and fit things from a series one to three onto a series four nav, nothing's the same. So we we're trying to fit the backing plate back on and it wasn't working and then we noticed that the back of it was completely different this is the wrong size so pretty much this was a waste of money what do you reckon Woody? it's just oh. nothing is ever easy <laughs> oh yeah luckily the website doesn't like say it fits this now what do you reckon, Theo? That's my car. Morris's car. You say Navara? That's not my car. Mummy's car. There I am. That's the complete wrong steering wheel. Can <laughs> you guys ever do it? This one's not off this sort of Navara. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put it all back together. So disappointing. All right, so I've screwed the controls back in, placed the backing plate back on. So, we'll check it back in. Very disappointing. But I think I'll still, I think I'll still post this video because I guess it might save somebody else the trouble. As you can see, I took an airbag out of the car. That's cool. Something like that. 
And then if we put the battery back in, hopefully it doesn't blow up. Cool, let's do that. All right, the nav is back together. So fortunately, steering wheel install did not go as planned. Alex, any final remarks for the viewers? I wish I could say I'm surprised. <laughs> I mean, everything always goes to plan. Yeah, 20 minute job, mate. 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it could have been. Yeah, it could have been. It will be when we get the right steering wheel. Yeah, if we ever get the right one. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe. But otherwise, I don't know. We'll probably see you in the next one, eh? I'll be here. <laughs> See you in the next one. That will, it has to go to plan the next one. Surely. <laughs> Surely. Surely. We're due for some good luck. Catch us. Can you say, get that bread? Can you say, get that bread? Go pay. Can you say, use code bread at blackopsoffroad.com.au and get 10% off? Oh. <laughs> Future everyone is so lucky that they're going to get this content. Yeah. And they're going to know we, what to we do. We do it for you. Yeah. Have you seen the new drones? Might be FPV ones. It's like six grand. For a drone. Does it do like backflips and shit? So you're scared shit out of me putting a screwdriver over here. I mean, that was like wires for an airbag in there. You guys really should know what you're doing before you do it. Figuring out as we go, man. It is. <laughs> also, thank you for watching this video. Yep, we need some more beer.